Hey kiddos, for today's activity, we're gonna make airplane cutouts. You're gonna need a few different colored paints as well as some paper to make our airplanes. So more precisely, we're gonna need a large piece of paper to cover the table, one piece of paper to make our painting and another to make our planes. We're also gonna need then a palette for our paints. So I'm gonna choose a few colors here. I'm gonna start with some blue and some orange as well as some yellow and some green some black and some red. I'm also gonna need a little cup of water to rinse my paint brushes and a few paint brushes here as well, a pair of scissors and a towel to rinse my fingers. So we're gonna take our first piece of paper here and this is what we're gonna make our cutouts from. So make sure it's kind of thick. If it's too thin, it won't kind of stick well enough to the background piece of paper where the painting is gonna be. So it can be craft paper, maybe some kind of more cardboardy paper. Um, make sure it's kind of a little bit thicker than your regular, kind of regular piece of white paper. So we're gonna take our thicker piece of paper to make our cutouts, and we're gonna start drawing our plane. So do a straight line right here another straight line, kind of about an inch to its right. And here these lines are basically gonna help us start to create the shape of our plane. And then I did a third line about half an inch after my second and two little lines towards the end here. So then we're gonna do kind of a straight line white right through it, which is gonna create the shape of the middle of the plane. So here, oop, just working on the little tail. Straight through. Then we're gonna jut out here, connecting to that line. Going right up. This is gonna help us with the wings here. Straight up on the other side. up and around, and you're gonna connect it up so it looks just like the bottom. Make sure all the lines look nice and crisp. So keep going using those lines and work towards the right. Jut out on either side, just like we did, and connect it. Great, there's our airplane, you guys. If you wanna put the video on pause to redraw it, you can do that. For those that are finished, we're gonna take our scissors and snip through and follow the shape of the plane that we just drew. So be careful while you're cutting because it's kind of a small little cutout. Snip around the wings. Snip up. Be careful with your fingers. Rip all your little scraps apart and cut alongside the wing. So I think we made kind of like a generic airplane. Could be a Boeing, could be an Airbus, or even like a military plane. But the shape is definitely, definitely a, a fast looking plane. And then we're gonna cut right there with the angled wings. Put our scraps to the side. Cut down the length and around like an L to finish off right towards the tail. So cut nice and slowly because you don't wanna cut the shape off. Perfect. So now we've done our cutout, which is gonna help us make our actual painting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right across the piece of paper where I'm actually gonna do my painting and decide where I kind of wanna have them flying around towards. So my first plane, I think I'm gonna have maybe fly, you know, upwards to the left, to the right. You can kind of choose the way you wanna have it done. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint over our plane, add a little bit of water. We're gonna make it blue. Just so you guys know, be very careful here. As we put down our plane, you're gonna put your finger on it to make sure it's really nice and 
on the page. And when you paint, you're gonna start from inside the plane and you're gonna brush outwards. This is very, very important. You always brush outwards from the plane. If you brush inwards, you might get some paint underneath the plane and it'll mess it all up. So just like that, outward strokes, outward strokes, and make sure the plane is completely flat against the piece of paper. So right here, see, I'm putting almost all of my fingers down. I have four fingers, just like that. Outwards, 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 never inwards, outwards, outwards. Little baby brush strokes. Use your fingers, outwards. Awesome. Small little strokes. You're gonna get paint all over your fingers. It doesn't matter. Just brush outwards. See, it's kind of tricky, nice and slow. Never brush inwards. Awesome, great job. Keep going around. Perfect. Never inwards, only outwards. So it's kind of like finger gymnastics here. We're gonna lift up our little finger here and we're gonna slowly paint the middle. Up. So basically, if you have anything that you wanna clean up, if underneath, for some reason, some blue paint got underneath, we'll be able to fix it later with white paint. So now I'm slowly lifting up my plane. <gasps> Look at that, you guys. That looks awesome. That looks really, really, really good. So we have our first plane. And now we can pretty much choose where else we want our second plane to be. I think maybe going in opposite directions could look cool. So once again, let's take our blue paint and we're gonna just brush outwards. Take as many fingers as you need to make sure the plane is as flat as possible. Tiny little brush strokes outwards, away from the edges. Nice and slow, nice and slow. If you brush inwards, it's gonna totally just ruin our little plane here. So outwards, yes, perfect. So take it from where the plane is right there, exactly right up against your fingers. You're gonna make a nice little border for it. Perfect, so nice and slow, nice and easy all around the circumference. I don't know about you, but my fingers are totally soaked in dark blue, but I'm gonna wipe them right afterwards. Almost done with our second plane. Yes, okay. Keep going, down and around. Just have the tail left to do. Perfect. So now I'm gonna use my pencil or maybe I can try and just lift it on my own. Eek. Awesome. Perfect. So our two planes are done. I'm gonna definitely rinse my fingers. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the rest of, of our of our scape. So yeah, definitely make sure that your fingers are completely rinsed. Not completely, but as best as you can. So we don't get any blue accidentally where the, where the airplanes are flying. Okay, so now we're gonna continue with the rest of the decor. I'm just gonna wipe on the sides here if there's any kind of little screw up. Rinse my paintbrush. I'm gonna take some blue here and I'm gonna continue painting around the planes. So basically these white planes are flying in a dark blue sky. So while you're painting the rest of the background, just make sure to go kind of slower when you're painting around the planes. So I'm going a little bit slower around. I don't wanna get any of that blue where I did my cutouts. Perfect. Perfect, and don't use too much water when you're painting the background or else it'll kind of curl up the paper on the sides. So a little bit is good. Keep painting all of the blue. 
it's kind of like a night a night flight vision. The sky is really quite dark. You could also do, you know, light blue by mixing dark blue and white paint together. You could do a gray sky if it's kind of like stormy out. You can definitely have some fun. I'm gonna paint nice and slowly around the planes here. Perfect. And if we have to fix any of the white planes, oop, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my white paint and fill it in afterwards, just to make sure it looks really, really crisp and clean. The thing is, well, we would have never had this bright of a white plane had we painted the planes on, on white paint because the background color, the sky is just so dark. So they're really gonna pop out at the end. Awesome. You could even hang this, you know, on the ceiling on top of your bed. It'll kind of look like, you know, you're looking up at planes at night. That could be really cool. All right, almost done with our sky. Back and forth, back and forth. Adding a little more blue here. Perfect. Okay, so now that our sky is done, we need to add in some kind of nighttime decorations. So maybe some stars. So I'm gonna take my paintbrush here. I'm gonna dip it in a little bit of water and take my white paint and make some little starry shapes all around my sky. But first, let me just fix my planes here. So by the time the paint dries, they'll be perfect. So I'm just brushing all along the inside of my plane. So nice and even, just to clean up any of the spots where blue might have gotten. Kind of make it nice and clean. Perfect. So be nice and precise while you're gliding the white paint and rinse your, your paintbrush frequently so that we don't get any dark blue in the white area. Perfect. We're gonna just fix that little place so it's nice and precise. Awesome. So now that my planes are looking nice and crisp and white, I think I'm gonna make my stars for my sky. So let's grab our paintbrush. Again, nice and clean to get all of the blues out, all of the whites. Let's work with a little bit of yellow here for the stars. So just do five little spikes to do your stars. They don't have to be perfect because they're so teeny tiny in the sky. You can just do like little X's all over the place. And then we're gonna leave some room at the bottom because we're gonna create our buildings and our landing strip where the airplanes came from. Little stars, you know, they don't have to be perfectly spaced from around each other. Sometimes you'll have clusters of stars in one spot in the sky. Perfect, look at that. Looks like they're really flying through the sky. So now I'm gonna take another paintbrush, rinse it one more time. I'm gonna take some of my black paint and this black paint, I'm gonna make a square basically. So this building is kind of like the airport control tower because these planes definitely came from somewhere. They must have taken off from this airport. So let's just color in that black building. And it's so dark that, you know, maybe in the daytime this building, you know, maybe it's a completely different color. It's just that the, the nighttime sky is making everything so, so dark. Okay. So once we finish our building here, we have to make our landing strip or our takeoff strip, basically. So here are these little lights. 
little dots that I'm doing with tiny dots of yellow paint all along the landing strip. So they're just following each other right there. So basically the planes came from this landing strip and from my building. Perfect. So now that we have our landing strip and our little airport, I'm gonna take some black paint here and I'm gonna make a tiny little cockpit and little airplane windows. Since airplanes have so many little windows, some airplanes even have two floors and two sets of windows all along the edge of my airplane. Boom. Maybe it's a commercial flight. Maybe it's a fighter jet. I'm just doing a little bit of a detailing right here with the wings. Just outlining the shape here and the tail. Perfect. So now let's work on our second airplane. You know, maybe you want them to look the same. Maybe you want to make them slightly different. Let's first make the cockpit. Because no matter what, airplanes always have cockpits. Usually they do. I'm just dotting right down my airplane for my circular windows for the passengers. Up and down, tiny little windows. I'm barely touching the paper. If it gets too big, then there'll be enormous windows. Little detailing on the wings. Perfect. On the tail. Awesome. Let's take a look at our painting. <gasps> awesome job, you guys. So little guys, here's our airplane cutout painting. I hope you had a really fun time making it today. I'd love to see your airplane cutout paintings, so please send them into tutokid.com with the help of your parents. Hope to see you soon.